Hello everyone and welcome to my daily Hearthstone video. Uh, I have even more great news. As of yesterday, uh, I got rank 1. So this is the first time I've gotten rank 1. Uh, I didn't change anything, it's the same deck I've been using since I started this. Uh, it's the, the, the Spiteful Priest and here you have it, rank 1 achieved. So I'm gonna, gonna do my daily video now. So it's uh, I'll play one game, if I win I'll play another, if I win I'll play another, cap and get at 3. And uh, if I lose, that w that will be very unfortunate. But uh, you know, can't can't really help it. So uh, if you want to use this deck, uh, it's uh, it's not it's not uh, not a really expensive deck. It doesn't have any legendaries, uh, so pre pretty sure e everyone can craft it. And I'm I'm against a rank two player. I was hoping I'd get uh, rank one or not rank one, but. Uh, yeah, okay, it's better to play a rank 2 or a legend player than a rank 1 player, since a rank 1 player will be trying very hard. And uh, someone who already achieved legend might not be trying so hard, as he already got legend. So, against a paladin, hope, hoping it's a Baku paladin, hoping it's not an even paladin, uh, definitely gonna leave the Duskbreaker. Hmm. The Duskbreaker and the Little Dragon, or do I want Spellbreaker? Uh, it's hard to say. I kind of do want to get the cleric, but then again, I do want to keep the fairy dragon, just in case I, do, you know, it, it's terrible if you have a dusk breaker and you don't draw a dragon, and uh, and the paladin has a full board. So yeah, that's uh, kind of an unfortunate draw, but yeah, what are you gonna do? Everyone plays a paladin. Okay, so it's the Baku. Uh, uh, it's an a, a bit easier matchup than than the even paladin, but. Uh, again, a very annoying paladin. That's uh, yeah. I think a Baku paladin is now considered a tier two deck. Uh, even paladin and Morlock paladin are still d tier one. But uh, I haven't checked, so I, I might be wrong. So I don't have I don't have any anything to do. I'm just gonna let him fill up the board, and hopefully he doesn't uh, he doesn't uh, give his uh, little dudes any any divine shields or anything. Just uh, I'm gonna. I'm gonna chill until turn four. That's that's basically my plan. Hope hopefully he doesn't do anything, uh, and then I clear on turn four and on turn five I have coin into spiteful summoner. That's the ideal thing, but it's very rare that something ideal will happen. Plus three attack. Okay, it started. So I don't mind the damage. Yeah, but if I go if I go heal and allow even more damage, that could that could definitely hurt. So maybe I should go coin into coin into Duskbreaker here, and next turn I don't really have anything useful to play next turn. That's the problem. Uh, if I clear here, nah, if I just heal up, that's twenty five, and then he has he has nine damage on the board. 9 damage if I just heal up, plus 9 damage. Uh, that's too low, that's 16, and that's 16 without him adding more damage to his dudes. He might give them all plus 2, that's too big of a risk. That's too big of a risk, I'm afraid. Huh. Yeah, I, I think I have to go Duskbreaker. But if I wait one more turn and allow him... Nah, I have to go Duskbreaker. Ah, that's such a shame. I always hope I can, I can reach turn 4 against a Paladin, but it never happens. I always have to use the coin. Yeah, but okay, hopefully, yeah, he doesn't have any, any useful moves now. So I have the Bone Drake. I don't, uh, I don't actually see me using it anytime soon. So I'm gonna use the little guy, clear here, and heal up a bit. Yeah, this should be okay. Uh, it's not very useful that he can't be targeted. It's not like a paladin will target you or anything. Okay, that's two. That's the Mole, Divine Shield. Okay. Gonna get rid of that one. Okay, that's that's a bit unfortunate, but what are you gonna do? Next turn we have the spiteful summoner. Until then, uh, let's 
let's drop this guy and uh, I do want to improve my board presence but is it worth it using this guy I don't think so yeah I don't think so but yeah uh, better better to get more board presence uh, than just heal up and draw a card yeah better to have better board presence against the paladin I guess that's always the idea okay it's his turn of course the fungal mancer always ruins the day so yeah I'm very happy uh, if he clears my minions then I can I, I can always hope for another dusk breaker okay we don't have one now but uh, a nice taunt minion would definitely go a long way so let's go 50 50 for a 10 okay it's a 10 and if I don't get a dusk breaker maybe a tyrantus no it's an emeris not the greatest 10 draw not the greatest but not the worst huh he has a lot of damage on the board but I think he has to clear emeris or he has uh, drop this minions HP to one and then all is well a taunt okay not really worried about a taunt and now he's gonna go suicide and get like infinite infinite shaman spells yeah that's the worst when a paladin gets shaman spells then he he has a lot of board clear and a lot of damage okay discover a battle cry minion wow now that is a spell Huh, I actually thought he would suicide them into Emerus. It's a very interesting, very interesting move. I'm sure there's a good reason why he did, why he did, why, <laughs> why he did what he did. Uh, but I don't really have, have the option of. So I will clear this and, uh, yeah, get rid of this guy that's too annoying. And heal up a bit and see what he does. Next turn, I have I have nice chances of a big taunt minion. Uh, also, also maybe if he drops like something really big, freeze a minion and deal three damage to adjacent ones. Okay. Yeah, that's that's the problem. You never know which spells he he's gonna get. Okay, now I definitely want a dust breaker. That's without question. Nope. So this guy is now, if I drop this guy, I'm just getting, yeah, that's, that would be a poor play. So my only way of playing this is getting a nice big minion. So let's get a nice big minion. Yeah, I, I was thinking about a nice big taunt minion. How much damage does he have? 5, 6, 8, 10. 10 damage on the board. And he's a paladin. Probably he can buff them even further. So do I want 12 damage or just Sarah? Just Sarah. Just Sarah could give me that card that deals 5 damage to everyone except just Sarah. So I'm gonna go with just Sarah. And hopefully I get that and I can survive next turn. That could be. And I did get it. Deal 5 damage to all except just Sarah, but. Yeah, it's a 3-3, and he does have 5 minions, so it's lethal. Excellent. Oh, that's such a shame, such a shame. But we did, uh, we did finish a quest, so I guess that's kind of nice. Missing 5 gold for for another one okay well unfortunately uh, I did lose so that's it for today's video but uh, hopefully hopefully I can I can achieve uh, legend with my spiteful priest uh, before the, before the season ends so that's it uh, thank you all for watching uh, it's, uh, it's uh, very unfortunate but you know you can't win them all and uh, yeah as usual you can check to all my previous videos here thank you all and I will see you soon